What's up YouTube? This is Collect Pokemon and today we are back for another video. So um, yeah, I hope you guys liked my previous video um, talking about investor, you know, these are really sensitive topics that, you know, not a lot of YouTubers would like to talk about because they, you know, it simply, you know, creates haters and stuff, but you know, that's not what I want on this channel. I want to create a, a, a place where people can share their comments, thoughts, and allow each other to listen to each other's thoughts. And so, yeah, so sometimes I will create more controversial video to illustrate points that I think that I believe in right now, but I was very open and I encourage you guys to try and, you know, chip in and maybe to help me learn, help me grow as well as, you know, each other grow. So yeah, that, that, that was pretty much those purpose of those video. Um, yeah. And there were some very interesting comments. Um, so I made very bold statements saying that, you know, things are skillless or those flippers or things are, are, are skillless or, you know, you don't need much. And then you, you can see the comment section. Now people are like, oh no, they need skills. And, you know, some of them makes very good points. Some of them make very good analogy, which I actually do welcome and encourage. So yeah, but today's video, it's, uh, it's gonna be, um, I don't think it's, I think it's less controversial, but I'm gonna address it, is reprints. A lot of people are really worried about reprints and I mean, I want to talk about this kind of topic. So, I mean, we've heard that uh, Elite Trainer Box for Hidden Fates is going to get another reprint. But from the distributors and from many other sites, I've been told that, you know, um, the reprint quantity is going to be tiny. It's just going to be very, very, very small. Now this got me to think, and this got me thinking, and if some of you guys are in my Discord channel, I actually did share some of my view. I was trying to, uh, you know, think about how does reprint affect, you know, the future of many sets. And I came down or came out with two conclusions. The first one is whether it's actually the quantity they reprint. So I'm going to separate this argument into two parts. The quantity being a very small reprint, and the quantity that it was being a large reprint. Let's go for the small reprint first. I think that a small reprint will not affect long-term investment in any way. Uh, I don't even think it would affect, you know, the medium term, maybe three to five year investment, simply because the reprint, uh, they're reprinting very popular sets. And to me, I feel like it would create more hype. You know, by announcing that there is going to be a reprint, kind of gets everyone interested in that certain set again. For example, you know, Hidden Fates, you know, people were forgetting about it and, you know, everyone was into Champion's Path and they were always looking for the Ultra Shiny V. Then they dropped the bomb saying that they're going to reprint Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. So, you know, to me, what that does is that it actually shifts people's attention back onto Hidden Fates. And, you know, that is actually bringing hype up, making people, you know, put their focus back on the set. Uh, I mean, for the past few months, we, you know, we see stabilization of Hidden Fate's uh, PSA 10 card prices. You know, it was just kind of just stabilizing, going down just a little bit. But yeah, with this news, I would assume that, you know, people would start to look into Hidden Fates again. And a small quantity reprint might actually be good because a lot of newcomers to this hobby, they knew about Hidden Fates, but they kind of left it at the back of their mind because simply it was inaccessible. It was like $350, $400 a box for the Elite Trainer Box. Now that this news hits, you know, they're now watching Hidden Fates. They're thinking, hey, you know, I might actually get a chance to, you know, get a good deal on these boxes. Maybe it'll go back down to $70 or $80. And I, I, I think it's actually quite good in the long run for investor, even for long-term investor. Um, because of this hype, you know, people are going to pay more attention to this. That's one thing. The second thing is if these newcomers get access to these cards at a more reasonable price and they were more likely going to open it and they'll start chasing this set because this set is not an easy set to collect because of the soul, you know, the, the difficulties is in the, amount of products and the amount of shiny vote cards there are. So what I would be, 
what I would be suspecting is that, you know, when this happens, when the reprint is very small, you know, people will, will, will go like, oh, some people will panic sell, but others will be buying it in. And, you know, it's actually quite healthy for the investment market. And small reprints like this um, also makes or also give hopes to newcomers that, you know, they have a chance to pre-order them. They have a chance to buy these products. So, yeah, that's my opinion. If a reprint is of small quantity, it should not affect the market. But rather, actually, it would help the market grow. So it's a win-win situation for both Pokemon getting a little bit more money for investor because the products are now back into the spotlight and for newcomers who actually want a chance of these products. What about large quantity reprints? And I'm talking about things such as Shining Legends. I'm talking about Roaring Skies. Well, I think that large quantity reprints will definitely hurt a lot of short-term flipper, investor. I'm just going to use those words. But um, in the long run, I don't think it affects... The, the, the effect is minimal. It would slow down your rate of uh, your return, but it would definitely not affect the price. I mean, it would, would not affect the price in the long run. I mean, if you, uh, I mean, I was just Googling and I was just searching on eBay. Roaring Skies is around 150 US dollar a box now. I mean, back then, you know, after the reprint, you actually have to beg people, you know, take away, please take the Roaring Skies away. Now they're very healthy. They're at around $150 uh, a box. Um, Shining Legends, that set is going up. And so I, what I think is that, you know, in the long run, um, people who actually have position on a lot of these cards, they don't really have to worry that much. I mean, look at Rudy from Elva Investment. You know, he has a bathroom full of Pokemon, the XY eras. I mean, I think it was Primal Crash, Evolution, Breakthrough. And he has a bunch of the generation pins and tins and um, pin sets. And, you know, the price of those has significantly gone up. I mean, there was a video where he was so pissed at these Pokemon cards, he just threw it in the bathroom and left it for two years. And the price of all of the products pretty much double and triple. So, in the long run, I don't think reprints is that big of a deal either, even if they try to print it to the ground. Because even if they print it to the ground, there will always be people, you know, joining the hobby. Actually, it's even better, right? If you print it to the ground, people will be joining the hobby and, you know, less people will be hoarding onto these items. Or like people are going to say like, oh, evil investor like me, I will be hoarding like 300 boxes. But if I knew it was printed to the ground and I was not a long-term investor, I would definitely hold less of it. And, you know, you get more people being able to access these uh, on release. But in the long run, it also means that less of them will be sealed and, you know, it actually is beneficial. So what I'm trying to say is that reprint is not exactly a bad thing. And yeah, that's pretty much this video. And I mean, just looking back at history, I mean, even Base Set Unlimited, Base Set was printed to the ground because, you know, everyone was like, oh, first edition was not enough. Shadowless was not enough. So, you know, let's print more Base Set. Hey, we're not done with Base Set. Let's get Base Set, base set 2. So, you know, it, history, time over time, you know, things were printed to the ground. But at the end of the day, it is still going to go up and it would actually make people happy. So, to be very honest with you, I really don't mind that if one of the set, Ultra Shiny V, Hidden Fates, or even Champion's Path, Pokemon decided to print it to the ground and so that everyone is happy and everyone gets card. Um, because at the end of the day, as an investor, I value how people are able to get more of these cards because, you know, when people are more likely to get these cards, it creates that noise, it creates collectability, it allows people to collect. And I think in the long run, it's actually going to be very healthy for the um, whole market as a whole. So yeah, that's pretty much this video. Let me know what you guys think about reprints and whether you, you know, you have thoughts on reprints. You know, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? And if you disagree with me, 
why? I want to hear your reasoning. So that's it. Subscribe, like, see you in the next one. Peace.